Right, go on then, Steve, sing the theme tune. Uh, this is Remix Roulette. This is Remix Roulette. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was actually pretty good for off the cuff. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever Remix Roulette podcast. I'm going to clap. I might add some digital clapping afterwards. I don't know. Um, Yeah, essentially this is three best friends. Uh, We've been friends for 10 years. We are. We've been friends for (laughs) over a whole decade. That's 10 years. And we decided to use our music degrees and our love for music um, and made a podcast because that's what people do when they uh, when they hit thirty. Steve's not thirty yet, are you? But we're uh, almost, almost, not far not off far at off. all. But yeah, thank you for the intro, boys. At this point, we don't know what the intro exactly sounds like, so you guys have heard it. And at this point, we don't know what it sounds like, so that's a bit of a fourth wall break. But anyway, let's cut to the chase. Hello, I am Mikey. I will be presenting, producing, and deciding who is the best of the remixers. I think. I think that's what we're going to do. This is still a bit of a pilot, isn't it? But, um, Remix I. That'd be the plural, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Remix I. But let's uh, let's go around the table, the virtual table, because, you know, <laughs> lockdown restrictions are still in place. And because uh, it's the year 2026 and nothing's gotten better. But no, I kid. Oh, <laughs> hello to everyone listening in 2026, by the way. If you're going back yeah. to a, a binge from the start. We, we, might get, we might get repeated on Dave one day or something. You know you've made it when you're getting repeated on Dave. No, I think mm, you're right. We might do. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, who knows what the future holds? But um, yes, I'm Mikey. Uh, to my virtual left is Mr. Dan Smith, an incredible uh, DJ, bassist, guitarist. Just a bit of everything, really, aren't you? Do you want to say something nice to the listeners? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's all I was going to say. I'm a... <laughs> mainly, mainly a guitarist. Uh and obviously any guitarist can play the bass because it's fewer strings piece piss um and then yeah i don't like music production as well so i could do all the all the stuff with the computers and djing and all that but uh in in real life most of the time i'm just an optician which is a bit different um because music degrees don't give I you I just like money. that now, whenever I introduce you so- to someone, I'm going to say all the stuff with the computers and that kind of summarizes uh, yourself. I thought it was very I good. Like that. I like that. You do like that. Hello, Mr. Steve Quinn. Would you like to tell Hi, everyone uh, who you are? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Steve. Is that enough? Is that all right? <laughs> Similar to Dan, I guess. Play guitar, play bass, play drums, um, produce music, uh, can solve a Rubik's Cube in under a minute. That's although a Dan cool can, fact. Although although Dan can do it faster, so that's annoying. But it's all right. It's all right. Um, yeah, that's it, really. We probably sound really boring from these intros, don't we? But I'm trying to think of what I can do a backflip on a on a trampoline. Can you? Yeah. Oh, you can do pretty sick back backflips. Yeah. And Steve St- can do a good kickflip. Yeah, not bad. Not on a trampoline. Good, good, well, good combo. Yeah, tried it. Might try it. But... Anyway. <laughs> I can't do any of them. What can you do, Mikey? What can I do? I mean, I kind of like write rhymes and rap, and then I also paint plastic, and I collect like Pokemon stuff, so I'm just your average um, guy, I guess, in that sense. Nerd, yeah. I made the logo. Maybe you like the logo that you've seen on your little podcast app, wherever you're listening. It's weird saying stuff like that, because it's not all set up yet, so it's weird because I don't really know what to expect from it. Me neither. (laughs) (laughs) So anyway, yeah. Why are we here? What, what oh, What's the podcast well, about, Mike? Well, hopefully you've uh, realised, thanks to the amazing logo, I, I hope that kind of tells the tale of what's to come. But essentially, in Remix Roulette, I will be challenging my two lovely friends here to create remixes, and this is a challenge. I'm going to roll some dice, and those dice will give us three different rules each episode. So the first rule will decide on the decade. And this is the decade in which their chosen track will need to be chosen from. So, for example, if you roll a one, it's going to be from the 60s or earlier. I don't know how early that will uh, constitute, but (laughs) earlier. (laughs) Like uh, something from like the 1800s. Yeah. A two two is the 70s, three is the 80s, four is the 90s, a five will be a track from the noughties, and a six will be the tenties, which I'm calling it, to the present day. The second dice... Roll two is the cover version genre. Apparently, I say genre weird. How do you guys say that? 
Genre, yeah. That's that sounds spot on to me. Genre. I think it's one of those words where if you say it too much, it loses meaning. I think it's uh, just genre. That sounds better. <laughs> genre. <laughs> the cover. Roll two is the cover version genre. Uh, number one, we'll give you pop. Two, dance electronic. Three, rock or metal. Four, hip hop. Five, folk slash country slash traditional world music. There went my voice. And number six was the latest edition, orchestral or jazz. Little jazz hands. So they're, they're quite quite different things, but it kind of makes sense to put them together. Yeah. I, guess, doesn't it? I don't know why. It does. Yeah. I think everyone will understand that it does. And yeah. Oh, I know. Old, old people music. That's <laughs> yeah. It's a better name for it. <laughs> old people music. Yeah. Six is old people music. And then roll three. <laughs> your final dice is a twist. This ain't any uh, regular cover version. This is something unique and interesting. Unique New York. So, number one will be a change of the time signature. Number two will be to change the tonality. And by that we mean major to minor or minor to major. So like a happy song into a sad or vice versa. Um, Number three will be to change the accent of the lyrics. I can't wait to hear this one because that's going to be ridiculous. (laughs) And I I can't do accents, so I hope you two can. Um, Number four will be to mash up two songs. So it might just be one regular song and then like a chorus from one or another. Or it might be a whole mashup. I don't know. Number five is no twist. Which is exciting. It's exactly what people want. <laughs> and then number six is going to be the wild card. Ooh. Ooh. Exciting. <laughs> so with the wild card, we want you lovely folk, our listeners, if you're out there, to suggest a new rule. And once that rule has been used, well, then scrap it and get another one. So that's constantly changing, evolving, like the greatest Pokemon of our generation. So uh, that's the premise, really. <laughs> Steve and Dan will be on every... <laughs> I had to get Pokemon in there twice. Uh, Steve and Dan will be remixing uh, for every podcast. And maybe here and there we'll get in our friends, we'll get in music types to join in. And it's just going to be a nice little wild party. And just to clarify, when we hear these songs, we're all listening at the same time. So for obviously, the whilst we, for the first time, yeah, not just at the same time, for the first time. So as it stands now, whilst we record, I haven't heard Steve's, I haven't heard Dan's. They've, I, I've already heard mine. You've heard, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've heard mine so many times. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> well, uh, we've we've not heard each other's is what I should clarify. So it's going to be very exciting. And then we're going to sort of discuss it, chop it up and just reminiscing whatever has just happened because it could be great and it could be not so, as good um i'd want to use negative language <laughs> not so good so yeah it's um it's it's going to be a very exciting experience and yeah this is very much pilot no format so who knows what's going to happen um any thoughts gentlemen i'm just excited to to hear dan's yeah yeah um ready to crack on i suppose the only thing i'd add is um remixes tend to use a bit of the original track but we're pretty much doing full on cover versions um yeah just cover roulette doesn't really roll off the tongue so well that's a very good point actually i never even considered that it's not technically a remix is it <laughs> not it's really more so a cover i mean that's a, that's a could be i suppose but hmm. mine is a full-blown cover okay well shall we uh shall we get stuck in let's do it we need to roll those dice Oh, we're not rolling the well, yeah. dice. Well, <laughs> okay. sorry, yeah, let's explain that. We've already... <laughs> I completely forgot about that. At this point, we would listen to the remixes. We'd already know what the rules are because we would have done it in the previous episode. However, this is the chicken hatching from the egg. Um, there's technically not been a roll, but there has. Obviously, we did it um, before we recorded this, so about a week ago, two weeks ago, maybe. We did some rolls. We decided what the rules were, so... You're going to find out the rules and then listen to the track straight away, which is very sudden. There's no no tension, no cliffhanger, no waiting around. So this week, Mr. Dan Smith and Mr. Steve Quinn have had to create a song from the 80s in a folk, country or traditional world music style. And they've also had to mash up two separate songs. I don't. Mm. I honestly don't know what to expect. This is completely... I don't know. I just don't know what... I'm just... Oh, it's so exciting. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Are we starting with Dan then? Let's go for it. Yeah, go on then. I'll go first if you want. Yeah, I mean, why why are we starting with you, Dan? I feel like that's probably going to be a point to bring um, up. Because <laughs> Steve's is clearly going to be better. Nah, <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Just ah, me. but you say that now. Um, <laughs> with mine, right? I... Uh, I, I chose two songs from the 80s, extremely well-known songs. 
and the genre I chose was folk. Uh, when I was a kid, I played in a Kaylee band. It seems like the obvious thing to do, um, but I, I don't really like folk music, but yeah, whatever. I have to... <laughs> um, first few versions of this, um, I quickly learned that I can't sing as well as I thought I could. Um, <laughs> And I even like tried to do a spoken word version, but yeah, no. Oh, um, so I would love to hear I've, that so much. <laughs> One I've day. still got it. Um, <laughs> I've still got it somewhere. Um, but so I, my first apology is it's all instrumental, I'm afraid. Hey, but it's fine. that's not going to be the case for everyone. Oh, I'm intrigued. May I ask a question? I didn't want to interrupt because I feel like that would be bad for podcast etiquette. However, what's a, did you say a, a Kaylee band? Oh yeah, when I was a kid, yeah, um, had one at school where. What is yeah, that? A, uh, so it's a band that plays at a Kaylee, uh, which is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, uh, Mikey! Didn't didn't you know that? <laughs> I think it's an I think it's an Irish word, but they're big in right. Scotland and in where I'm from as well, which is in Cumbria, like Celtic roots and all that. Um, it's a barn dance, basically. But right, yeah. okay. But so it's a barn dance, but for British some reason, it's named after someone called Kaylee. No, no, K- it's spelled C E I L I D H. That's what I imagined. Though. I was like, who's this Kaylee and why has she got a band dance name? It's after like, you know, what Irish names are like all the consonants that you don't pronounce and stuff. It's like one of them. But yeah, um, that's kind of beside the point. Uh, I've, I've done a folk one anyway. Um, Sweet. Shall, shall we give shall it a listen? Are we ready to listen? Yeah. Yeah, right. We're going to listen to this for the first time uh, in three, two, one. One, here we go. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
That ending was lovely. <laughs> Just abrupt goes into it. Well done. That was really good. Wow. I thought it was so cool. That was ace. That was so nice. Especially Thank that little you. ending with the... La, da, da, la, 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 la. So uh, can, you, can you name the songs? <laughs> of course you can. I hope, I'll, name, uh, I'll name one. Steve can name the other. Uh, Billy Jean. Yeah. yeah, and then was. we had Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> 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 no, it was total eclipse of the heart, wasn't it? It was, yeah. And it, oh, very well, good. That song's in F, and I could probably sing it in C, and I didn't realize that until today. Um, <laughs> but when I tried to do the vocals, it was either like solo or falsetto, and uh, yeah, I need to learn how to sing, to be honest. But yeah, they, I'd penny whistle all the way instead. Um, I, no, <laughs> long, whistle, I yeah. no longer have my penny whistle, so that was... Uh, the, the, a, a midi piccolo <laughs> I would have loved to hear you playing it on your your little penny whistle you and Kaylee you know, playing like, along <laughs> you know like those YouTube videos of when they're doing intros to like 20th Century Fox and things like that and it's always <laughs> <Yeah>. like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, record it, yeah. I love that yeah. <laughs> something like that that was ace. I, I really like that. That was That's cool. You, you 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 mentioned um, about singing it too low and like there's a really low like choral uh, bit throughout it in different Aww. bits. Well, yeah, Aww. it was yeah, like that. it was almost kind of like quite sinister, really. Yeah, uh, <laughs> not not maybe not that folky. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, got, it's going it's more like monks in like the fifteen hundreds <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh. Like proper low. I think for me, the thing I liked most about it was it really seamlessly mashed up. Like when we yeah. set this. I thought it was going to be like, you're going to do like, you know, first chorus, first chorus, middle it from a different song and then bring it back. Ah. It's funny. You, it's funny you say that, Mikey. <laughs> that, that might have been easier. Uh, now you mention it. But um, the way you did it was you really put a lot of thought into the mashup. And I think that's a, a very, um, very commendable and admirable aspect yeah. of that song. But it was very well done, honestly. And even then the playing as well. You played the whole thing, right? Uh, you, didn't, you didn't quantize the, uh, the oh, guitar, no. did you? No, no, no nothing. <laughs> it's, all, it's all played, but some of it's looped. It's raw. That's so cool, man. Yeah, amazing. Um, nice when we were, one. When we were listening to it, um, what else did we say? I think you mentioned there's a spoken word version as well. Or did you mention that beforehand? Uh, I can't remember maybe, maybe we don't talk about that as much because people <laughs> might want to hear it. <laughs> uh, if you want to hear it, please comment and give us five stars on this uh, episode and then maybe we'll upload it somewhere. It can be on the blooper reel. <laughs> one of the, t- the wild card twists. Oh no, one of the... One of the last rolls of the of the dice was uh change the accent and i kind of did that as well because i felt like uh folk songs should be in a regional accent um so yeah so yeah it's it's that this other version which no one will ever hear oh we <laughs> oh we will somehow i'm trying to think of like a, a cumbrian regional accent did you mean oh, your no. own region well no i don't really have a cumbrian accent um and I'm, i actually can't do one very well um <laughs> I went for a West Country Farmer accent, <laughs> which just flowed naturally. I don't uh, know why. Oh, my God. Very good. Well, then. Um, hey, Steve. <laughs> hey. All right. All right, pal. Um, shall we uh, give you a little listen to, then? Yeah, I'll just talk you through it first, if that's all right. Of course. Um, I won't tell you the song. I hope, I'm hoping that you know the song. It's maybe not their biggest song. But it is a big song that was out in the 80s. Um, I kind of went more for the approach that you mentioned before, where it's a full song with a section that mashes up an, another song into it. Okay. Um, rather than the whole entire thing as a big mashup. Um, I went for a country style in mine. Um, not, not your kind of old country. It's a bit more modern country, I guess, um, with the really clean vocals you'll, you'll hear it you'll hear it i don't want to give too much away um there's a few little things that i changed to the original quite big ones actually but um i'll let you be the judge and see what you think because it's a mashup is it is it two 80s songs again yeah oh yeah so the other song it, it's actually the second song that mashes up is the another song by the same artist oh, ah. nice. Nice. yes and it's 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 you know it's only brief but it, it's there it's there so many firsts today so many first happenings which was obviously yeah. going to happen because it's the first time we've done it but yeah, yeah right i'm just i'm just hoping you know it let's let's see <laughs> if not just enjoy it for what it is i'm sure I'm we sure will. will i'm intrigued right okay right yeah here we are then so uh here we go three two 
one. There's a boy I know He's the one I dream of Looks into My eyes Takes me to the clouds above mm. Oh, I lose Control I can't seem to get enough Uh-huh When I wake from dreaming and tell me is he really love who how will I know and don't trust your feelings and how will I know and how will I know love can be deceiving and how will I know I had you near me now uh -huh. I said there's no mistaking what I feel is really love Who, how will I know and don't trust your feelings and how will I know yeah and how will I know love can be deceiving how will I know? How will I know if he really loves me? I say a prayer with every heartbeat. I fall in love whenever we meet. I'm asking you what you know about these things. How will I know if he's thinking of me? I try to bomb, but I'm too shy. Say a prayer with every heartbeat Fall in love whenever we meet I'm asking you And that's that. that wow. Was, <laughs> yeah. That was incredible. The accent, oh. man. I just can't stop laughing at the accent. Had to, had to do the accent. Full on, like, yeah. I mean, yeah. how will I know? I mean, <laughs> you've, like, you've gone through a few different rules there, haven't you? You said that you changed it to 3 4, which is probably yeah. a very, a very uh, staple signature of the uh, country yeah, you know, music. That was it. I wasn't planning on going through with the rules. I was just wanting to do the mashup one, but. It just because a lot of countries in three four, and I started playing on guitar, 
and I just I was trying to find songs that were in three four from the eighties, but there aren't many. They're all like disco songs, pretty yeah. much. Well, more like dancey songs, and that just fit. So uh, I went for that, and then the accent just came because it was country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like that's such a a lucky mix in the sense that we've got so many different rules in there, and it wasn't even intentional. Like no. Oh man, and like that mashup as well, that middle eight, that fit so perfectly with like lyrically it just fit really well like it made sense as a middle eight to be a bit sort of like off the side yeah you know what i mean the the way the the way all the lyrics and words fit in the middle eight of how will i know leave room perfectly for the exact place of uh i want to dance with somebody i think the i want to dance with somebody it sounds a lot weirder in three four than how will i know (laughs) oh right yeah maybe yeah I don't know. I'm so used it's to hearing how well I know in three four now. I, so say, yeah. I, I can't. I can't imagine hearing the original anymore. <laughs> Same. It's really. It's like how well I know, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite. It's, quite fa- it's, a, it's a lot it's faster. Yeah, it's a lot and of and tempo, it's in, and it's in four four. I think um, honestly, it took me a while to realize what it was. I knew the song because I, I could hear yeah. the lyrics and I could picture it in my head, but it really took me a while to think what the original sounded like. If that makes sense. Yeah. Which made me think it's just a testament of how good it is, the fact that it completely transported me. And I wasn't thinking, oh, I prefer the original at this section or, you know, this bit isn't as good or this has been changed. It just sounded like a new song, but I knew it wasn't. Yeah. I hope there's some sort of like clarity to that. I hope that makes sense. I think I only only really knew it because of playing in the wedding band because it's like one of those staples, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely like a, a dance floor filler. And then, prob- and then probably going into uh, I Want to Dance with Somebody as well, straight after it or something. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That was, uh, that was amazing. What I'd, what I'd like to ask, actually, to both of you, what made you pick those songs then? Did you pick the songs because it worked well with the rules and the ideas you had? Or did you pick the songs for, like, other reasons? Just one of my favourite songs from the 80s. I've always... It was either that or, um, do you know, Waiting for a Star to Fall. Waiting oh, for yes. a Star yeah, yeah. to Fall. And I was... I actually... I started playing that one in 3-4 first. It was like, Waiting for a Star to Fall. <laughs> da, 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 which was quite good. But then it, and then I just remembered how much I like How Well I Know. So it was mainly just because I loved that song and I wanted to do something with it, not because it fit anything to do with the genre that we had to do it in. I love that. That's such a good answer, though. What about you, Dan? My first thought was, um, you can call me Al. Um, by, uh, Paul <laughs> Simon. So good. But then I couldn't really get you to call me Dan. Else. <laughs> yeah, I could have changed it. <laughs> it's already, a, well, it's not folky, but it's like, there is from a folky background, isn't he, really? Yeah, yeah. And then I thought uh, along the same lines, mashing up the sound of silence with something really upbeat would have been dead funny <laughs> but again it's like a folky thing really so i thought i'd do something completely different yeah i think that's a good way of doing it picking a song that isn't anything like the genre that you need, yeah that you, it's that you're, that you're defeats for. the whole object of it really um i don't know i picked billy jean because it's got a sick bass line it really does and then uh I just thought i'd try to think of other 80s songs in a minor key because there's, there's not actually that many compared <laughs> to like songs now and I thought oh, a total yeah. eclipse of the hearts in a minor key, and it is at the start, and then it's pretty straight and it after it key. changes. Yeah, it, it changes. Does, yeah. It changes key a lot, and you don't realise that because it just kind of modulates quite well. Sounds seamless. It was class though. Yours was class. Steve, you had a key change as well. I did. Yeah, the perfect just a, uplifting moment. <laughs> that was a that was a cheeky sort of like X factor key, yeah. key change. <laughs> I love the um, the just after the key change that little chord substitution you put in when you go to like a minor chord. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. that's what it, I did. That's I did not that. in the original song, is it? Or is nope, it? I, did, yeah. I did that in. Yeah, It's good. Yeah. Amazing. Cheers. Well done, gents. That's blown, Cheers, Mikey. That's blown me away. It really Where's has. Where's yours? Can we, hear, can we hear yours now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> like, the reason I'm uh, sort of trying to present and uh, going to produce this whole podcast together afterwards is simply because I was like, I'm not very good at this whole remixing malark etc i don't have the production chops like these two even though we all did the exact same course but it just yeah i'm just blown away as always by both of your talents and you know what this is a really good idea and i can't wait to do some more well we, i guess we better roll again for the next episode i know we should do i do i have to um do i have to vote on the best one do i have to do that or can uh, we just not do that I don't think oh we yeah really, don't really is it necessary to, do we? um nah we, we don't need that should we should we all vote should we all take a vote of whose was the favorite <laughs> i genuinely did like be- both like honestly did they're, they're very um, different it's quite hard to compare aren't they that is true yes uh, yes 
because Steve's was full on clean production, insane amount of effort. And my, I went for a lo fi thing. At least that's what I'm saying for like <laughs> <laughs> lo fi. <laughs> Love I, true. No, you know what? I actually, no, I did put like a tape warmer and stuff on the master channel, but there was a noise and make it sound like bit recording of, from bit the of 60s, analog warmth but, on it. But yeah, it, it just sounded like it didn't really work. So I thought it sounded great. That analog warmth. You know what? It is the pilot. We're figuring stuff out, but I am going to say, let's not vote. We don't need to vote because to quote the Boulay brothers, well, I'm going to change it slightly, but music is art and art is subjective, right? Hey, hey. yeah, very good. Although they say, they say drag is art and art is subjective, but it's the same concept, isn't it? Why are we judging art when it's everyone takes it in a different way? But they were both very, very well done for the listeners out there might, reasons, might you know? feel different to li- differently, you know, to yeah. which one they prefer. They might actually think that uh, Billy Jean spoken word in a West Country accent would have been the best one. So <laughs> that would have been that would have been a clear winner if we heard that. That would have been. I would. Have, yeah. <laughs> one day, I mean, um, it's 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 going into the drive now because I know. You oh my is god! It actually, oh. One day, I imagine us putting all these songs on, um, either on streaming sites or on YouTube, etc. But there's absolutely no reason why we can't have extras and bloopers and stuff. So. I mean, I don't know if we've discussed that as a as a three, as a thruple, um, but we can discuss that off uh, off record. We can do, yeah. Um, Dan's pulling a really funny face, so I don't yeah, know what he's wondering, wondering what you're doing on camera. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm shaking the dice. Sorry, uh, my hands are under the table, yeah. and they were doing a certain motion. Um, we could just see it. We just see Mikey's hands underneath the table. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Motion. I'm rolling the dice. I'm warming her up. I'm getting it ready. Let's roll. Are we ready for roll oh. one? I feel like we need a catchphrase here. I've got the rules on the screen ready. So are you ready? Remember. Oh, 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 before we roll, before we roll. Yeah, um, I'm still shaking. What we we haven't uh I don't know if we decide what is the wild card this week. Oh, oh yeah. If we oh, get yeah. a number as if we get a number six on roll three, so a one in six chance. If we roll a six on roll three, I'll lo- roll it again. But let this be an invite to you, the listener. Please give us a wild card option. So we want I suppose the kind of thing you want to be thinking of then, if we're asking for suggestions, is the other ones on that on that roll, uh change the time signature, change the tonality major to minor, uh change the accent of the lyrics. Or mm-hmm. mash up two songs, and there's a no twist one as well. But um, that's the kind of lines to think along. Um, yeah. So like, yeah, think outside the box. Like, we'll pick the favourites, won't we? We'll pick the ones we like. We're not going to pick something that is too similar or we don't think will really work. We're going to pick the ones that sound like an interesting, uh, fun uh, challenge, essentially. So, right, my arms are getting tired now. Shall I roll this dice? Yeah, Let's do it. Yeah, it's good you're shaking it so much. I know. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good roll. This it might roll for the next like five minutes and never stop. <laughs> right here we go. So roll one is a four. So you've got a song from the nineties. Oh, excellent! Yeah, I'm very happy yes, about that. Yes, yes, that's I was already our era. Hoping, I think I already know which which band I'm gonna pick. <laughs> Oh, there's I so love many that. You don't ones. even know what's coming, right? So, oh, no, I've been thinking. I've been. Oh yeah, go on, go on. So you've got a song from the mm. from 1990 inclusive up to 1999. So that is the 31st of December 1999, back when the Millennium Bug was a massive panic. I was talking about that last night, actually. That's really weird. Um, right, roll two. Are we ready? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. This is the genre. Oh, yeah. Pop. Interesting. Pop. So you need to pick a okay. non-pop song. Okay from the 90s and make it into a okay, pop song yeah. that changes it does things a little because bit. I felt like okay. you probably no, would have picked a pop song to begin with I don't with. think that, that doesn't change anything for me I'm alright with that I mean okay this is I don't want to say what I'm thinking so but there's a lot of grunge in the uh, 90s and that's kind yeah. of where I'd be going with it <laughs> say no more <laughs> <laughs> right and then roll three. Oh, jeez right here we go roll three oh, God. mash up two songs again <laughs> Do we want to keep that or should we re-roll? I think I think we should re-roll. Yeah, okay. G- only yeah. only because it's yeah, the, the first episode. You cut, cut me saying that. <laughs> no, we can leave that in. I think that's a fair rule. I think, really, we don't want to have the same rule two weeks in a row. I think if we ever get the same one, we should re-roll. Yeah? Yeah, fair okay. Enough. I like how we're just making up yeah, rules as we go along. Pilot, pilot episode. Pilot episode, yeah. yeah. We're just we're figuring episode, stuff out. Yeah. Right, here we go. Roll, th- roll three yet again. Don't be a four. Oh, it's a six. God damn it. <laughs> oh, again. Okay. This was obviously going to happen, wasn't it? If it's a four again, I'm going to just... We can edit these Maybe. bits out. I don't know. I might leave it in. It might be funny. <laughs> it's just going to be like an hour of us saying <laughs> yeah. we're going to edit this bit out. Podcast right. will be really long. <laughs> Roll three. Here we go. 
Four again? Jesus. Right, oh, I'm just going to do it quickly I don't, this time. It, I don't think it matters how much you shake it. Right, here we go. Two. You are going to change the tonality. So you might have a minor okay. song yeah. and it's going to be that, happy. That or you might have a happy song and go sad. So, Fantastic. just to clarify, you are picking a song between January 1st, 1990 to December 31st, 1999. You're going to change that song into a pop song. However, you're going to change it from either a major song into a minor song, so happy to sad, or the other way around. I mean, if you can make a sad, like, pop song, that'd be quite funny. I say that, there's probably sad pop songs. Yeah, there's loads. Right. I mean, there's, there's a lot of <laughs> It just seemed like the opposite, sad. doesn't it, with pop? I always imagine it being really happy, but they're not yeah. always happy. Of course not. Yeah. Great. I love it. That's a great role. Happy about that. Cool. So, thank you very much for listening to you lovely listeners out there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Tell a friend, tell a family member. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe because we don't really know when these are going to be coming out. We're not really pushing it as such in the sense of we have a strict date. It's just when they're ready. Personally, I don't think we should rush the creative talents of these boys. And we want to get the I could have the goodies. Finish a remix every two weeks. But uh, it's getting together and recording as well, isn't it? So. Yeah. We'll figure it out as we go along. Yeah. You know, this is all this is all for fun. It's all fair game, isn't it? But yes, thank you very much for listening. Any final words, Mr. Dan and Mr. Steve? No, I think that's... that's. Uh, thanks for listening. <laughs> uh, just have had a great time. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's been really fun. Can't, can't, can't wait to do another remix. I might start mine right now. Or a cover, cover remix, whatever you want to call it. Right, well, we better go then. So this has been Remix Roulette. It's still Remix Roulette. Nothing's changed. And, uh... And then this is where we play the yeah, theme the tune outro. Again. Do we have an outro? Have we decided that? Uh, stay, stay, stay probably be the same out. one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that has been Remix Roulette. It's been Remix Roulette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>